Hello everyone and Assalamu Alaikum. I am Muhammad Suleiman, Aircraft Engineering Instructor. Welcome again to my new video about Boeing 777 Electrical Power Chapter 24, Part 2, uh, which I made during type course. It will help you recall and refresh your knowledge about the systems. So dear technicians, engineers and pilots, let's join the quiz. These will be the topics covered. Question 1. What is an IDG and what is its function? Combination of a constant speed drive and an AC generator. Question 2. What is the function of the case relief valve? To prevent the rupture of the IDG case if the IDG fuel oil heat exchanger leaks. Question 3. What must you check at regular times for the QAD coupling of IDG? Answer. The tension bolt torque and make sure that the IDG is locked in the QAD ring. Question 4. What information about the IDG does the EEC sends to the systems airing 6 to 9 buses? Answer. Oil temperature and oil filter data. Question 5. What item supplies data about the IDG oil level status to the GCU? Answer. Remote oil level sensor. Question 6. What must you do to reset the drive disconnect mechanism of the IDG? Answer. Pull on the disconnect reset ring while the engine is shut down. Question 7. What is the main voltage applied by the AC generation system to the airplane? Answer. 115 volt AC. Question 8. What are the three subsystems of the AC generation system? On aircraft Boeing 777. Answer IDG power, APU generator power, and backup generator power. Question 9 What does the backup generator converter do after an engine start? Answer Conducts an automatic test of the backup system. Question 10 what are some of the protective functions of the converter? Answer. Over under voltage, over under frequency, over current, differential protection, and converter fault. Question 11. What is the supplement cooling fan used for? Answer. Cooling the backup generator converter. Question 12. When does the backup generator converter turns on? The supplement cooling fan. Answer. When the inlet temperature, air temperature is greater than 40 degrees centigrade and the backup system supplies power to one transfer. Question 13. What does the APU GCU control? Answer. The APU power. Question 14. Where does the APU GCU power supply get power from? Answer different sources the PMG in the APU generator and the captain's flight instrument bus Question 14 sorry 15 what controls the power lever what controls the power level to the exciter field in the generator answer the voltage regulator question 16 is what does the voltage regulator monitor the answer is the generator output voltage POR voltage. Question 17. What does the GCU do if the control switch is off or the fire switch is pulled? Answer. Opens the APP. Question 18. What does the off light on the APU generator switch indicate? Answer. The switch is out. APP is open or there is an APU power system fault. Question 19. What is the purpose of the APB? 
sensor. Control the automatic operation of power from the generator to the transfer buses. And 20. From which sources does the GCU get power for control, protection, and byte functions? Answer IDG PMG, battery bus 2, and ride DC bus. Question 21. What is the function of the generator control relay GCR? Answer to control the power to the voltage regulator. Question number 22. What is the purpose of the point of regulation voltage? Answer. To monitor the voltage at the generator side of the GCB. Question 23. What are the causes that can lead to opening of the GCR? Answer. Over under voltage, over under frequency, computer failure, open phase, differential fault, general diode failure. Question 27. What happens when the backup generator converter detects a low oil pressure? Answer. The GCR is stripped. Question 28. What is the priority order of power sources for a main AC bus? Answer. Power if connected, related IDG, APU generator, and opposite IDG. Question 29. What happens when one, for example, right IDG fails? Answer. The right GCU opens the, uh, the right GCB. Listen again. Answer is the right GCU opens the right GCB and closes the right BTB. Question 30. What happens when the right main AC bus has power? Answer. It supplies power to the ground handling bus. Question 31. What is the priority of power source for the ground handling bus? Answer. Primary external power and APU. Question 32. When does the backup power system supply power to one or both transfer buses? Answer. In these conditions. Loss of all main AC power, single main generator operation, auto land, or backup system test after engine start. Question 33. What is the time delay for IDG to supply power in the air? 10 seconds. Thank you so much for watching and I shall make more such informative video notes and quizzes on aircraft system and air legislation and safe maintenance practices. Follow me on LinkedIn to download some printable easy notes that I have made.